the next topic we want to get into is market volatility. And market volatility, Joe, is uh, it's generally normal for the market to be volatile. We've had several years where it's been flatter, but market volatility is not necessarily a bad thing. It's, it's actually pretty normal. Right. You know, we're talking about how you can reduce your overall income. So we looked at maybe claiming the wrong Social Security or your pension all of a sudden defuncts and then you got a lower payment here or you have a health event where a lot of cash is coming out. But now, now this is something that you can control, right? You can absolutely control your emotions when it comes to your overall portfolio. But this is one of the hardest things because we're so attached to the money. We're not equipped as humans to, to really deal with it. Yeah, and here's what happens, Joe, is uh, this is kind of, you know, this is what the market it tends to do and, and what happens to our emotions when it's going well the greed sets in we want to buy the stock market works again we want to make some money right and so we tend to buy high and then the market corrects and it always corrects it's not unusual to correct but that's when the fear sets in and what happens we sell so now what have we done we bought high and sold low it's not a good recipe but this is when you when your emotions kick in to your retirement and your investments, it's it's not necessarily a good thing. And, and another thing happens here too, Al, and, and it's not necessarily volatility of overall um, the, the markets. It could be just you're hearing benchmarks of maybe the S&P 500 does 6%, but your portfolio is only doing 4%, and you really don't understand your portfolio. Or you go to a cocktail party and you hear someone that has really good performance in their portfolio versus yours. And so then we're apt to quickly change strategies because, oh, this one is doing a lot better than mine. But what you're doing again is you're buying high because that performance has already happened. You're not buying at their prices now you're buying at brand new prices in that over that that percentage increase has already happened so you have to control your emotions even when volatile markets or when we get these you know um, buyer remorse if you will or or you want to follow the herd and say hey big al he's a smart guy right i want to do what he's doing but it, it, it's it's not your money it's not your goals it's a totally different situation yeah so we've got some tips for what you should do and what you should not do in volatile markets. And I think the very first thing is to check your portfolio. Make sure that, uh, we'll call it a checkup, portfolio checkup. So make sure you've got the right portfolio for you. And, and, and the portfolio for me is going to be completely different from Joe and everyone else out there. We all have different goals, different needs, different, different income needs. Some of us have kids, some of us don't have to have kids. Every person's a little bit different. So get a checkup to make sure you have the right portfolio for you. Make sure it's well diversified. And here's a really important one. I'm going to circle it. Make sure that you have enough safe investments for your cash flow needs. So if you're retired and you're drawing money from your portfolio, it shouldn't all be in stocks because stocks can go down. They can go down quickly. If you're drawing money out of your stock por portfolio, when it's down, you have a lot of problems recovering because the portfolio is down and you're taking money at the same time. Mm -hmm.